<laughs> three brave young men were shipped out to sea on the third day of March at a quarter to three. They waved goodbye to the cheering crowd and swore they'd do their country proud. The three soon came to a small fishing boat. "'Twas battered and dented and barely afloat. They called out to the ship and pulled up a side. They boarded the vessel and ventured inside. They found the captain hanging dead off the mast and stared at the grin on his face aghast. Said the first, why was he smiling as he slowly died? Why, if I were in his shoes, I'd surely have cried. They returned to their ship and headed due north, unaware that the three had been joined by a fourth. Though they couldn't see him, his presence was clear, as he whispered ideas in all of their ears. Why not head a bit west? he asked the third man. There's no way that ever could hamper your plan. His friends begged him to stop, but he just remained silent. As he sailed the ship up to a cave on an island. He didn't know why he had docked on the shore. But he knew in his heart he just had to explore that mysterious cave up there on the hill. And he dragged his crew with him against the two's will. In the cave sat an old man, all moldy and gray. He coughed twice, cleared his throat, and began to say, To the men any wish that they had would be granted, for the island they'd stumbled across was enchanted. There is but one small rule I implore you to heed. Before the sun sets, all of you have to leave. The first of the men wished for a great feast, and a table appeared laden with cheeses and meats. The second one thought of the gals back home, so his wish was to have a girl of his own. And out of the trees stepped a bonny young lass, clad in naught but a lay and a skirt made of grass. She tittered and beckoned as he filled with lust, duly impressed by the size of her bust. I shan't say the third's wish, and all I can say is that he became more than a mere man that day. The sun sank lower and lower, but they paid no mind, as these men were blissfully preoccupied. The girls too had wished for began a horrible change, as their hands became claws and their teeth became fangs. They surrounded the man and got down to business. He partook in their flesh so they'd partake in his. The food one gorged himself on didn't taste quite so good when he found he'd been eating a severed human foot. He spit out the grotesque meat and ran for their ship, then quickly sailed away from the island's cruel grip. But what of the third? Well, there's not much to tell. He simply decided he liked it in hell.